Dr. Vello, the jockey wheel transplant was a complete success. Thank you, nurse. Remove the bandages from the patient. Fantastic. This is exactly what I expected. Hello and uh, welcome back, ladies and gents, to another categorically middle of the road Trace Fellow production. My name, as always, is uh, yes, it's Luke. So, jockey wheels. These little beauties here on your on your rear derailleur. The standard ones last forever. They're super easy to clean and maintain, and they're nice and lightweight. Do the job perfectly well. So. Why the hell would they ever need replacing? Well, there are two main reasons, as, as far as I can tell. Number one, you ride thousands of kilometers every month and they wear out and they need to be replaced. Or number two, you saw some on AliExpress that are two, two pounds and they're also a cool green color that match your YouTube logo. Which of these two camps that I personally fall into will forever remain a mystery? But regardless, today we're talking cheap jockey wheels, specifically the cheap ceramic variety that I'm sure many of you will have seen hanging around the depths of, um, yeah, of AliExpress and eBay. Now, some of you will be familiar with the company Ceramic Speed, but for those of you that are unfamiliar, they are basically a company that produces really, really high quality ceramic bearings and bearing components that are absurdly priced in my opinion. For example, here we have an oversized 3D printed titanium rear derailleur cage for the paltry sum of £1,300 or $1,600. Now, I actually heard a rumor that if you install this on your bike, you save so many watts from your drivetrain that your bike actually begins to pedal itself, violating the second law of thermodynamics, therefore creating a perpetual motion machine. Nice. But those are not the ceramic jockey wheels that we will be discussing in today's video. Legitimately quality products on this channel. Uh, no, no, no. Um, <laughs> these are actually the ceramic jockey wheels that we will be discussing today. And if you're anything like me, you will have seen ones just like this all over the likes of AliExpress and eBay. And they look pretty wicked. So I've had a number of these in the past. And in my experience, pretty much without exception, all of these cheaper ceramic jockey wheels, they have one fatal design flaw. And uh, yeah, they're all complete garbage. And here's why. So this is a standard jockey wheel from a Shimano rear derailleur, usually made of Delrin, which is a type of thermoplastic used where stiffness and low friction is needed. So perfect for this application. Super easy to service and clean. You can see there aren't any ball bearings even in this one. It's just a just a bushing, so yeah, really easy to clean. Simple design, hasn't changed for decades, and really effective. Now this is a cheap aluminium jockey wheel from AliExpress, and it cost me like two pounds. But if we take these two end caps off on either side here, which I've done on this identical one on the table, you'll be able to see that inside there is a pretty standard sealed bearing in there. Now there are a whole host of different bearing codes that it's good to be familiar with, but I'm no engineer and Hambini has a channel dedicated to this kind of stuff, so you might want to check him out. But I've also listed an article in the video description below that basically covers everything you need to know on this topic, so it might be worth a gander if you've got time after this. Anyway, the vast majority of the bearings in these cheaper jockey wheels come with a 689RS or 6892RS bearing. And if I zoom in, you'll see that's exactly what we're dealing with here. Now, the first set of numerical digits basically indicates the kind of sizing of the bearing and the suffix at the end tells you a little bit about how it's constructed. So in this case, RS stands for rubber seal and you'll be able to see there's a rubber seal on each side. Not necessarily the lowest friction bearing type available, but it's great for keeping crap and grime out of the bearing, keeping it running smoothly for longer, which is great considering it's like 10 millimeters from the chain, close to the road getting splashed by, by puddles and all sorts. Now the cheap ceramic jockey wheels are made of aluminium again and usually cost about double what the regular jockey wheels cost. And the ads always tend to look like this with an image where you can see the ceramic bearings inside. And funnily enough, the problem is these images, they don't actually lie. 
The bearings have no seals and you can see that here. And in my experience, they all look like this. You can see there, there's no seal on it and you can just kind of get straight to the bearings. I assumed that this was a manufacturing defect when I first got them, but like I said, they all come like this. Bearings without seals, a bit like this one, are normally used in more specialist applications in, in kind of sealed environments where there's no foreign matter present and where lubrication is free to kind of circulate around the bearings, like a gearbox, for example. In this application, it makes absolutely no sense and seems to be a cost-cutting measure, I presume. You might think that the caps on the end, which sit on the end, these ones here, which I've removed, would help, but they don't really seal it at all. Dirt and grit from the road gets washed into the bearings super easily. And after like one ride, this basically negates any of the benefit that you have from these kind of fancy low friction ceramic bearings. I mean, fresh out of the box, the ceramic jockey wheels, they seem pretty good. So this is a fresh jockey wheel, but it's got a regular, regular bearing in, and you'll see, yeah, it spins like, spins like once. What, what is this trash? Uh, whereas this is a fresh ceramic jockey wheel, and you'll see, it just, yeah, keeps, keeps on spinning. But, like a George Foreman marriage, it doesn't last. But to make sure, for around 700 miles, I used one cheap regular jockey wheel and one cheap ceramic jockey wheel on my, on my rear derailleur here. And yeah, here they are. Now, the one with the regular sealed bearing, you can see there it's got the sealed the sealed bearing inside. This still works great. And as happens with these type of sealed bearings, they tend to spin a bit more freely after some use as well. You can see there it spins nice and free. So this jockey wheel is still in really good nick. The jockey wheel with the ceramic bearing, on the other hand, has loads of play in the, in the bearing, which the other one doesn't have. And that's basically because it uses nylon bearing races, which are worn right out. It's full of grit and grime and it doesn't really spin anymore. It's super, super crunchy. You might be able to hear it. I'll, I'll do a little recording and, I'll, and you'll be able to hear how crunchy it sounds. It's going to sound like we're sort of turning into an ASMR channel, but um, yeah, have a, have a listen. Yeah, so hopefully you can make out super crunchy because of all the grit inside the bearings. But literally, all of the cheap ceramic jockey wheels I've bought come this way, and any of the cheap oversized rear derailleur cages advertising ceramic bearings will most likely be the same and, ha and have the same floor. It's a shame because if these bearings were sealed, then yeah, these would have been cracking. So, moral of the story today, ladies and gentlemen, if you want some cheap, flash-looking jockey wheels, I would go for the cheaper ones with the sealed bearings in them, because I can pretty much guarantee that if you go for the cheaper ceramic-style ones, like this one, they will come with a, a bearing that doesn't have any seals on it, and in my experience, they're all complete garbage. But um, yeah, if you've made it this far into the video, thanks for bearing with me. Um, <laughs> No, but subscribe if, if you like this kind of stuff. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this little video I've put together. And if you've got any questions or any comments about jockey wheels or ceramic jockey wheels in general, or if you know of a reason why they've designed these ceramic jockey wheels to have, to have no seals on the bearings, then please do let me know down in the comments. Anyway, that is, that's everything. That's everything we've got in today's episode. So I will see you all in the next one. Also, just a, just a quick quick shout out to my sister who actually who cut my hair because um, it was getting pretty, pretty long. She did a good job, although I'm told there's a divot in the back here, but I can't see it, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, thank you. Bye.